I see the number of units will also have decreased. Could this mean that the end is near? Does I think that? I hear a familiar voice. That was Miss President's voice. It was coming from the door of the announcement room. I finally made it. I opened the door to the announcement room and rush inside. Ooh, announcement room. I wait, I win? So hold on, hold on. So I beat Yusuke, I beat Yukiko, I beat Chie, and Agus, I'm pretty sure Agus and Elizabeth weren't supposed to like be a scheduled fight. So like this tournament only has four fighters. Great. Your gender smirks at me and I pass through the door. Behind him, Miss President and Rize. When the two of them see me, Miss President look confused, while Rize's face lights up with joy. I had to stay uh, uh, cautious of the general, but I think to the I signal to the girls that everything will be uh, all right now. The general is uh, closer to them uh, than I am. I can't afford to make any reckless moves just yet. And uh, there's one more thing I need to know. Teddy, where's Nanako? I look around the announcement room. Like nobody said Nanako was here. Except Yusuke, and uh, like you know, what Yusuke saying wasn't like what Yusuke said back there wasn't true, right? Nanako no number to be found. The general's face the source of ugly glee. Right Slowly, the uh, general extends his arm and holds a uh, that uh, was uh, behind him. There was Nanako. Her arms are clutched to her chest. She slowly takes a few steps towards me. Obviously, frightened. After taking a few steps forward, I noticed something bizarre. The general disappeared. For a brief instant, my full attention is being focused on Nanako. The general had been standing directly behind her. Now he's gone. How could he uh, have uh, gone somewhere else that quickly right in front of me? Without me noticing it. Bro. I'm confused. Do I have to fight Nanako? I'm confused about general's disappearance. Nanako weakly calls to me. Being on the TV world so obviously taking a toe on her, she turned towards me and on, on t uh, looking ready to collapse at any moment. I can't think about general. I can think about the general later. I have to save Nanako right now. As I reach out to her, Riza yells. Senpai, no! Nanako -chan's not there. Nanako's not here. What's she saying? She's right here. Just I'm uh, just uh, I'm about to say so. My hand stops. Something's not right. I tried to look into Nanako's face once more, and in her eyes, I saw madness. Oh, so close! Just a little more and Sensei would have been a goner! You bastard! I barely reacted in time to draw my sword to block the attack. Jinder suddenly appears out of nowhere and attacks me, this, um, which is King. I got a good look at him, uh, and uh, his weapons uh, clash together. I see the madness in his face, the same madness that I, um, had seen in uh, not, uh, not, uh, Nanako's only a moment before. Do I know this? Uh, Nanako has uh, disappeared. What's going on? You've got it wrong, Senpai. It's all been him from the beginning. He can make whoever's looking at him see him as someone else. So he's not actually taking on other forms? No, he's just distorting the things you see and hear. That's right. The enemies will control what I see and hear. Did you just re realize that? Remember that? I realized that after the battle I had today, but something Nanko had uh, made me forget all that. General laughs at this. Just like how my friends can, uh, had, hadn't actually gone crazy before our fight. Nanako had never been uh, brought into this world in the first place. The appearance before me is a fake. He distorted our senses. Uh, he, he distorted all, our senses all to make us suffer. Uh, just as I thought, he couldn't. Uh, re uh, he didn't. Uh, he couldn't deceive uh, Reese's persona abilities. That's why he kidnapped her to make her from uh, worm to keep her from warning us during his tournament. Now that I know that, I push the general with Kang away and jump back towards the girls in order to distance myself from him. Good. 
Now I'm between them and the general. I then look uh, straight, at the, straight at the ones behind the bizarre situation. You are the, the president, right? Yeah, you are Labrys, you are Agassiz's like, sister. The Miss President was like your shadow, you wanted to be more human. Yeah, pretty obvious. Um... Oh, you don't use the sword, you use a giant axe! Okay. Wait, you are the shadow. Okay. That's my face. I saw metal limbs, golden eyes, and ponytail. Mirror image of Miss President's face, even though she was standing before me, trembling. Oh, you wanted to see what I am, didn't you? Why? Why does she look like me? Why does she look like me? That's its true form. That thing is your shadow. This. Is it Shadow? She really came from inside me? Rizzo has to calm this president, but the girl sh uh, shakes her head in denial and squeezes her eyes shut. While Miss President refuses to look at this uh, mechanical looking being, I, I now understand what's going on. Because this is the first time I've seen a robotic girl before. All the facts m match up. The way she was able to run so fast without uh, so much as breathing heavily, even in the TV world. The sense of wrongness that I, uh, I had when Miss President had asked me about killing my friends. The way she avoided telling me her name. The superhuman strength when she hits Chie. And the incredible jump to get away from us. And the shadow's ability to interfere uh, with the senses of other people. Just as Miracle has said, all the pieces of the puzzle are not laid before me. They all came together, and now I can see the truth. She's indeed Labyrinth. Okay, so, so, okay. Okay, so, like, why is Labyrinth more of a human than Ag I guess? Labyrinth, another weapon which a heart stolen by someone unknowing and thrown into a TV world, created the, uh, created the school and forced us to fig uh, fight our friends. This deep-rooted desperation regarding her part, past memories, all of this, took the form of Labyrinth Shadow, who manipulated everything Labyrinth, here. Don't look away. If you don't accept it, she'll get even stronger. Miss Pre Labyrinth only shivers when I call out to her. There has to be some reason why she's uh, believed that she was the student council president. But that's just the disguise. More of herself than us. No matter how comfortable it is, the only there was a cloud in her eyes could be I true. I don't know what your past was like. It must have had some painful memories. But you have us with you now. We're going to get you out of here. I caught to Labyrinth while keeping an eye on the shadow. Shadow of darkness, uh, which a person's heart, unless it's accepted by the person it came from, it will never disappear from for good. But with that in mind, all we can do is watch over her as she accepts the darkness within her. We have to protect her when the shadow goes berserk and tries to kill her. But Labrys continues to shake her head and troubling, tremble, tremble violently. My words aren't getting through to her. Shadow loves Shirley. It's continuing to smear uh, more poison into Labrys's heart.
This isn't good. I settled into a fighting stance ready for anything, don't, uh, though I have a good idea what's going to happen. The shadow's eyes uh, clear with gold light. The change being uh, the change begins immediately. The sh uh, shimmer runs across the leper's body, and the oh, so she's using her ability to make uh, Labras looks like a human. Oh, okay. Normal human girl. There has been a moment ago. She was a mechanical body, just like her shadow. Labyrinth loses all composure and uh, scratch, uh, and scratches her arm, trying to tear away the metal uh, that had appeared. There was a mo uh, there was more to her than just her arms, her legs, wrist, ch uh, wrist, chest, and her head. Everything had uh, been covered by her clothes. It was not obvious and mechanical. The reality that she didn't want to face. There was no word we can say to her. No matter what we say, reality won't change. Labyrinth falls to her knees, and finally mother's word I was uh, dreading she say. To be con- excuse me? Uh, Kangji and Teddy's story has, are now available. What do you mean to be continued? Wait, 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 what? To be continued. Do we do we now get to go? Okay, so do we do I have to play through somebody else's story for in order to do this? It seems that the number. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, that's that's interesting. Ah. Uh, Let's go with Chie? Yeah. Let's go with Chie. May 2nd. It's a cloudy day. Wind's a little chilly for May, but it's perfect weather for my daily run. Oh, I was hoping if I choose other person, like, there won't be a, so much, like, inner dialogue here. But I guess not. I guess, uh... Yes, this this game just can lay off the dialogue. Personally, I prefer to be sunnier, but um, then I have to worry about uh, UV rays and all that stuff. I guess this is okay. I got my favorite snacks on the way. I'm ready to go. I got my favorite ready to go. I actually tell my mom I'm leaving. Mother responds to my mother. Kaju remarked as I ran outside the door. My uh, my name is Chie. I'm a third year student attending to Shigami High School. After certain serious uh, events that occurred last year, I finally f uh, find that I'm uh, what I want to be in the future. I want to become a police officer. I'm going to make so myself strong and protect everyone from bad people. I know that's kind of a ch uh, childish reason, but I'm serious. But because I'm uh, so serious about it, I uh, haven't been able to tell my parents about it either. I already t talked about with, with my uh, guidance counselor, and I want to go to police academy. Though I'm 30 years only May, considering that a lot of people around me are still trouble with uh, what to do after they graduate, I feel I've got a uh, slight lead over them. Well, even so, I still need to make sure I study a lot, too. Uh, to be honest, that's not going to, to so great. I mean, it's so much more fun to go running like this instead of uh, sitting at the de desk all day. Uh, good. 
I take a deep breath uh, of the damp air and s start my run down the road uh, to uh, Samigawa at my usual pace. Inuba is, and let's be honest here, out in the sticks. It takes a couple of hours reaching trains to get here from Rio City. Some people hate there's nothing here, and they think it's a bother uh, how everybody knows everybody else. But to tell the truth, I like it. There's so many places to run, I like greeting people I met uh, all day. You know, I wave to men uh, that I usually bump in, uh, into near the fl uh, flood plane. He know he uh, he not noticed me as well. Waves back. Hey there, Did something good happen? Oh, can you tell? Is it that obvious? <sighs> Young. I mean, Golden Week starts tomorrow after all. That is self uh, enough to amp me up. Even better, you uh, Kung's coming back tomorrow. Is it what I think it is. You finally caught yourself a boyfriend. Jeez, you always have to bring that up. <laughs> Be careful on your jog. New Narukami, he transferred here from the city last year. He transferred around the springs, though it was fast. He became a great friend. He laughed. I uh, prepared myself. Uh, the thought I couldn't get to uh, I, I couldn't get to see him much. When I learned he's coming back, I was ecstatic. He's only back for a short time. He just spent holidays here. I look up at the sky. The lights, uh, the light gray clouds, but gloomy. But the weather doesn't bother me at all. I'm too busy looking forward to tomorrow. I pick up my pace and quickly pass through uh, the shopping district. After continuing down the road, I eventually come out of the of the flat plains uh, through the center town. I want to run a little more, decided to consider going all the way to the park on top of the hill. I heard something I never expected to hear again. Did you see the Midnight Channel the other night? The Midnight Channel? Whoa, wait a sec! Hey, hey! Did you just say Midnight Channel? <gasps> um, excuse me? The two girls seem startled when I uh, suddenly jumped into the, uh, their, their conversation. Actually, one of them backs away like she's scared or something. She doesn't have the freak out that much. These girls are wearing using a high uniform. They have to be, uh, at least be first years, right? One of them seems to know me, but why is she so freaked out? Huh? Did I came on the... Uh, on way to should I came did I came on way too strong? I tried to speak a softer too, and the voice continue on. Sorry to barge in, but well, I'm kind of interested in the Midnight Channel, and I overheard you talking about it. So, you mind telling me what you were saying? Um, what was it you told me? I heard that this time it's like a fighting show, and that the people on it were fighting each other. Uh, I didn't know who was on it. I couldn't tell anything at all. Huh? But you just said. Well, please excuse us. Come on, let's go. Oh, hey! Walden pulls the other's arm until the two of them runs off towards the shopping district. They completely ignore me when I try to stop them. Even if I was con uh, coming out too strong, being uh, didn't that girl at attitude suddenly change when she learned my name? I think of any reason? Well, kind of I can. My friend tend to stick out uh, the, uh, in this rural town for one reason or another. Sometimes people can dislike you just for being part of a crowd that stands out. It was particularly bad when I entered the school beauty pa pageant last year, I remember that. I was forced into it just on the record. I heard all the talk behind my back. Then again, it only comes up very, uh, very few people. I mean that I was part of that too. I didn't let it get to me, be seeing everyone react like that, my face has made me a little upset. Still, the, the Midnight Channel? A fighting show? People were fighting? I wanted to ask more about what she meant. Could I have not run away uh, if I just go up to talk to them like a normal person? Ah, I can't do nothing, uh, I can't do something about this habit of do, 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 doing stuff without us thinking about it. I need to get 